The Toronto Constituency Office of Ontario NDP leader Marit Stiles was vandalized overnight. The leader says she arrived this morning to find her photo splashed with red paint and a pro-Palestinian message about the Israel-Hamas war. Emily Taylor joins us live in studio with the details on this. Good evening, Emily. Thanks, Taz. Good evening. This comes just one day after Stiles removed Hamilton Centre MPP Sarah Jama from her caucus, following comments she made about the Israel-Hamas war. Now, this is a look at her office this morning. It was defaced with the words, Free Palestine, blood is on your hands. And her photo was splashed with red paint. Stiles says she doesn't know who is responsible for the vandalism or if it's connected to Jama's boot from the party. Jama was also censured by the legislature yesterday. She can no longer speak in the House, but can participate in votes. The NDP voted against censoring Jama, but removed her from the party after she reiterated her stance at Queen's Park yesterday, calling Israel an apartheid state. The NDP leader was asked about the vandalism today at Queen's Park. Yeah, it was. I actually saw it when I was coming in today. Um, so I, I don't. I don't know what I, mean, I don't know who did it or what happened. No um, one is hurt though. Or nobody's hurt. My staff are fine. I checked in with them, of course, right away. Um, we'll make the necessary reports. But you know, this is a look. This is our our offices get vandalized. It's not okay. I never would cond I would never condone that. I don't want it. But uh, it happens to us in politics sometimes. Um, you know, and I. But I do think that this is. You know, we have a bigger issue right now in this province, which is we have a very divided very divided communities. In a statement yesterday, Stiles said JAMA was removed after undertaking a number of unilateral actions that undermined the party's collective work and broke her trust of her colleagues. She even said some of JAMA's actions contributed to unsafe environments for staff. As evening, Sarah JAMA reached out to her constituents, saying she's been locked out of her NDP email and accounts, and her team is working to transition her office as she's now an independent MPP.